Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deathmatch, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a respawning item in Roblox Studio. Anyways, let's get started. So to start out, as you can see, I have a truck right here that I want to be able to respawn whenever it falls off and, you know, gets destroyed because that gets frustrating. So we'll start out with inserting a script into Workspace, and we'll go ahead and call this respawn, respawn, items. There we go. Next, let's go ahead and make our folder that we would like the items to be stored in. Local replace items equals instance dot new and quotations folder and we'll do game dot replicated storage. And we'll go ahead and name this replaceable items. So replace items dot name equals replaceable. Oh man, I butchered that. Equals replaceable items. There we go. Next, let's go ahead and go down a couple lines. So just a four, that works. And we're going to go ahead and make the truck clone. So start out, let's go ahead and do local truck clone equals workspace dot truck colon clone there we go and next let's do truck clone dot name oh dot name equals truck and we do want that to be the exact name of our object that we are going to clone just because then it's going to continue to loop and loop once we have our while statement all set up and next let's go ahead and do truck clone clone.parent equals replace items. Next, let's go ahead and make our while true do statement. So while true do, and I like to be organized. If workspace colon find first child truck, then, and we'll just go ahead and toss an else in right there, and local respawn truck equals truck, truck clone, colon clone, and respawn truck dot parent equals workspace. And let's go ahead and add a wait down here. So to do a quick explanation, it's going ahead and checking if there's a child under workspace called truck. And what it does is there's an else statement, so that means that it doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, what do we have to do? Well, we have to go ahead and get the clone that is in replicated storage, and then we have to clone that and then put it into workspace. Very simple, but very useful. So let's go ahead and just test our script out. Go ahead and press play. Let it load for a second because I'm on the laptop and it takes forever to load. Still loading, there we go. And if we go over into the truck, and I'm just going to drive this off a cliff because that's what you do with vehicles, right? Ah, I didn't get out right away, so now it's going to glitch out a little bit. I don't know why it does this, but it does. So wait one second, and as you can tell, we destroyed the truck, but it's still there. See, I'll do it this way. That worked better. And you'll see, oh my gosh, oops. Well, there we go. You can see it works. Just kind of trapped me. So one other thing I like to do uh, is that you can have like a ball in here. So we can just go ahead and insert a, well, let's go ahead and insert a part just like that. And we're going to call this ball. And just so you can see how it is incredibly easy to make another one. So let's go ahead and do local ball clone equals workspace dot ball colon clone. Then we'll go ahead and do ball clone dot name equals ball and ball clone dot parent parent equals replace items. Then we'll just go down here and just copy what we have up there. So if workspace colon find first child and we're looking for the child called ball then and it doesn't exist, so local respawn ball equals ball clone colon clone. 
clone. There we go. And respawn ball dot parent equals workspace. There we go. So we can go ahead and jump on in. Just let it load again because it takes forever to load. Bum, bada, dum, bum, 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 bum. Hopefully that's not copyrighted. I don't even think that was a song. But anyways, we'll go over here and push this off in just one second. It respawns. So you can definitely use this for like games like soccer or something like that. If you're building a soccer game, it's best for games like role playing. All that stuff. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why in the comments. Also, I do have the script for the respawn items in my Discord. So if you'd like to go ahead and get that, you're going to have to join my Discord, which is linked in the description. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you tomorrow.